Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to do three fall decor using buttons. Every season I love making some decor using buttons. I don't know why, I just think buttons are cute and I love having pieces that I made using buttons. Dollar Tree actually has buttons and they have several different colors and they come in these cute little containers and I just bought a bunch and separated them into colors. So you will need for this first project one of these Dollar Tree plaques and it's so cute by itself. Um, but I just wanted to add a little extra to it. So I am going to be using the plaque, some hot glue, and some buttons in red and orange and green. I always like to take my buttons and kind of just position them on the um, project that I'm doing just to try to see exactly like if I want to use the bigger buttons or the smaller buttons or just frame it a little bit and see which colors I want. I wanted to do this all in orange, but I didn't have enough orange buttons. So I ended up using the red buttons for the base and then came back in with the orange buttons. So once you have it kind of like you want it, just take some hot glue and you can either glue it to the back of the button or you can glue it to the project itself and just start adding all of your buttons down. You want to kind of fill in the area. What's nice about this farmhouse decor from Dollar Tree is I loved the way the back was so it didn't need to be painted. I liked the wood grain effect and the palette wood um, look that I'd already had to it. So I love these projects that um, you can just do quickly and you don't have to paint and wait for the paint to dry. So right now I'm just gluing on my buttons. Once you have a nice solid base with your buttons, then you can go in and start adding smaller base or smaller buttons to remove the gaps that you see of the white. And you can also start adding different colors if you want to it. Um, as you can see, I'm starting with my orange now, and it really I'm kind of glad that. I did do a red base because the orange buttons are really popping and I'm really loving um, the effect it has and 
the color scheme on here and I think it's just turning out super cute. Now for the stem, you're going to use your green buttons and just like you did with the um, red and the orange, you're just going to start filling in that stem and adding, you don't have to use just little buttons, you can make the stem bigger, just be creative and you can use an array of, you know, the bigger and the smaller to create that stem on the pumpkin. So I thought it needed a little bow. I was going to make one out of the twine, but the bow that came with it was super cute and already made. So I just decided to just hot glue that bow right back onto the pumpkin. And I think it just makes it pop and come alive. And as I said in the beginning, I love my little button projects that I do for every season. And I love this pumpkin and I love the way it came out. I think it's super cute. It's always a conversation piece and everybody always asks me where did you get the button project from and it's so fun to tell them that i made it myself and that it's so easy to make so for number two we're gonna do another button project on the dollar tree truck that they have out right now this one um let me explain I thought this truck was super cute just the way it was and what my idea was was to just highlight certain areas of the truck with the buttons to make it come alive like a 3D um, truck and this one isn't my favorite project but I just wanted to show you guys because um, you can just use your imagination and make it any way you want. I loved how it highlighted the stems on the pumpkin with the green buttons. It really makes the pumpkins on the truck come alive and gives it, like I said, that 3D effect. And I love how the red buttons that I'm going to show you for the lights of the truck came out. What I didn't like about this project was I tried to highlight the Happy Harvest with buttons by putting them in the corner, but it kind of just made it um too much it was just grouped too much together um so i'm probably going to take those off and try to figure out a way to highlight the happy harvest but like i said this project wasn't my favorite in this video but i still wanted to show you that you could just take something from the dollar tree and by adding some buttons really make it come alive and pop this truck is super cute the way it is and I didn't really want to come take away from how cute it was. I just wanted to add just a little more effect to it.
and there it is in my family room. Like I said, I love the stems on the pumpkin. I love how that turned out. Not too crazy about the buttons on the Happy Harvest, but it's still a really cute piece, and it will add a pop of color to your farmhouse decor. So for the third project, I'm using this pumpkin from Dollar Tree, and I am going to just add some of this contact sheet paper um, that I think I got from Walmart in a big roll. I love the wood grain, and I thought this would be really cute. And it's self-adhesive, so you don't have to glue it. I'm just tracing it around, cutting it out, pulling off the back, and attaching it to my pumpkin. So once you have that on your pumpkin, you can start putting your buttons on the pumpkin. Again, I'm using hot glue. This time I'm gonna use the black um, buttons that come from Dollar Tree. And what I wanted to do was mimic that rounded line on the pumpkins. So I'm gonna take the buttons and I'm just gonna do kind of like a half circle on each side. Now for the stem, you're just going to add some hot glue to the stem and you're just going to cover it with the buttons. You can do different colors, you can do different sizes. This is totally up to you. Um, you just want to make that stem pop and come alive with those buttons. You can layer it and add more buttons to the top to hide the gaps and it really makes this piece have that 3D effect and really come alive. So I thought it needed just something else. And I had this thick, thicker twine that I had gotten in a roll from Walmart. And I thought it would be really cute to just hot glue the um, thick twine all around the edge of this pumpkin. I wanted to add some burlap in the center of the pumpkin, so I just cut a piece of the burlap off the roll. Um, I think I got this from Big Lots over last Christmas holiday, and I just cut a piece to fit and hot glued it to the back of the pumpkin. I think this gives it that country feel and 
I don't know about you guys, but I kind of love burlap on any project that I'm doing. So just take it, cut it to size, hot glue it to the back. Super simple, super easy. And it makes this come alive and become a more finished piece. And then I'm just going to add a burlap bow. I think I wrapped the burlap three times and I used a piece of twine in the center, pulled it tight, and then fluffed my bow and hot glued it to the center of the pumpkin. And there it is hanging on my front door i love this pumpkin it's simple but country and i it is so cute and oh i'm sorry i'm making you guys dizzy um okay here we go so there it is hanging on my door and i absolutely love it i can't wait until um september when i can start really putting out my uh, fall decor and that's my favorite time of the year so I'm getting a head start on these projects and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I have more fall decor videos coming out and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come watch this here are the three button pieces that I made and I love them I hope you do too if you do hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel I'll see you guys all soon I hope you have a wonderful wonderful and blessed day.